hi guys and welcome back to berries and herbs beauty so today i'm going to show you guys how to make an herbal pomade uh this is um an all natural um just hair oil hair grease whatever you call it anyway um so for this particular um grease what we're going to use is as our um, oil thickener is going to be cerebellina now cerebellina is a derivative of uh, beeswax so basically um what it is is it's um it's the it's like when they remove the, the fatty acid um and convert it over to i think it's called polyglycerol esters through heat so that's how they form this but the great thing about cerebellina is that unlike beeswax like when you make um like a salve or an ointment or a hair pomade um as you can see it just really leaves your um your uh gelled oil or grease or whatever you want to call it with this really nice creamy kind of um consistency if you notice a lot of the times when you make pomades or whatever using beeswax or really anything uh using beeswax it after a while when it sits it kind of develops this like gritty sort of texture especially if you use like um any butters in it like shea butters which is what we're using today um this is my shea butter and as you know the benefits of, of you know shea butter and olive oil so that's why we're putting both of those into our hair grease today as well as the cerebellina and i'm also adding some uh castor oil because personally i just like the consistency that castor oil uh gives it so we're also going to add um some essential oil i'm going to use a little bit of peppermint oil and as you know peppermint oil has um anti-microbial um and anti-inflammatory benefits um so i'm also going to use this i think it's pronounced like ling lang or lang lang and um so that just balances the oil uh secretions in the scalp um so it reduces the wet and oily sensation that uh, your scalp would normally have uh, if it's, you know, if you are an overproducer of sebum. And I'm also going to be using, um, let's see what else we have here, rosemary oil. And uh, the great thing about rosemary oil, it's also anti-inflammatory, but it also improves like circulation, so it encourages hair growth. Um, and I obviously, tea tree oil for its uh, anti-bacterial uh, and anti-microbial um, benefits. So that's what we're going to do today. This is everything that's going in it. Um, so it's a really, really simple uh, recipe. So I'm going to put everything to the side and show you guys what I've done just to make it easy and quick which is what i like i've already added everything to this container and i'm just going to put this in the microwave for a total of two minutes but you want to do like 30 second interval so you just want to um you know uh, let it go for 30 seconds uh take it out stir it let it go until it's just fully dissolved and then you're just going to pour everything into uh, your container of choice, which I'm going to use this uh, container. So this is kind of a really thin plastic. So you want to be careful adding the oil really, really hot. You want to let it cool down a little bit. And once it's cooled, you would add your essential oils and then add it to this container. And um, it's going to take about 30 or so minutes, even if you sit it in the refrigerator to fully set up to like this consistency. So anywho, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, like everything in here is now um, pretty much dissolved. Um, and I do want to mention too with this uh, cerebellina, you want to use it at a ratio of about uh, 10 to 15 percent um, in your formulation. Um, I use it at 10 percent because, uh, you know, as you can see, I use shea butter too. So I didn't want it to be like extremely thick. I just like it to have, you know, um, a nice smooth consistency that's thick, but not too hard to um, take out. You know, you just want to be able to just 
take you some out like this and it not, you know, your finger not get stuck in there, in other words. So, anywho, um, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go ahead and now add my essential oils to this. Um, I would say maybe add maybe four drops of each one and then just add it to your container and that's it. You want to put it in the refrigerator and let it set up. Anywho, that's it for today. Um, I do have a, a lot, a lot. I've been working on a lot of different uh, things uh, lately, <laughs> not just with, you know, the products, but obviously other aspects of my life. But um, regarding the products, I do, I have uh, quite a few recipes that I want to share. I can't wait to share. So just stay tuned for uh, what's upcoming. Anywho, until next time, guys, thanks for watching Berries and Herbs Beauty. Bye.